In today's video, we're going to be going and making this beautiful cutting board made out of Purple Heart, Paduke, Walnut, and White Oak. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming out like this. So the first thing we're going to do is cut down some of the wood stock that we got down to a three quarter inch cut. Now we're gonna cut down our three quarter inch pieces to 16 inches in length. Using the factory edges of the strips, we're going to go ahead and trim off the rough part so we can have a nice smooth surface. And now for the fun part, organizing all the little strips into a color selection that you like. And it's time to glue up. Lots and lots of glue on this part is really important. Now we're gonna go ahead and just place the strips, non-glue to glue side. And get that last piece in there, keeping them nice and straight on the sides. I'm gonna throw on some clamps, get those squeezed in really good. And then with a wet rag, go and wipe up all of the squeeze out that you have. That's actually a really important part because that means you left enough glue and don't have any porous areas in there. And we're going to just go ahead and wipe down the board real quick here. So that way we have as little amount of cleanup later as possible. We're gonna go ahead and start getting ready to level the board. We put some double-sided tape on the bottom and a small shim to make sure that the board was perfectly flat as it could be. And then we're gonna go ahead and clamp down our little jig so that way it stays nice and flat while we're doing all the planing on the actual cutting board. Just make sure that's on there real solid. You don't want to move it around while you're planing. And then just take this part really slow. It's real important not to rush through this type of planing. That'll give you a much better result and a lot less sanding at the end. This is just our first pass. Each pass we do, we adjust the bit down just a little bit further, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch at the most. And then just keep going over it until you get it perfectly flat.
And this is basically what it's going to look like when you have it all perfectly flat. No high spots, no low spots, just perfectly planed. And to make sure everything's looking really good, we're just going to look for any light coming from underneath our straight edge here. It's good to check this in a few various spots along the cutting board just to make sure that it's perfectly flat. And then all you have to do is flip it over and plane the other side. And then you're good to go, ready for sanding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> oh my. This is more than I could have asked for. Now we're just going to go ahead and cut chamfers on all four sides of the cutting board. You want to make sure your blade's about halfway up for the uh, cut on this. And a little bit of uh, Roman Ogi that the wife wanted. We're just going to go down the board and then come back up to get the last little bits there. And there we go. Now it's time to go ahead and do some finish sanding with some 220. And we're ready for putting on the butcher block conditioner, which uh, has both the oils and waxes in it, uh, which makes the board pretty much ready to go shortly after you're done with this. You're gonna put on about three coats. You wanna make sure you get this really in every little crack and crevice on there. That's super important to keep the boards from not cracking later on. I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes and then wipe it off. Since it's a wax, you want to kind of polish it a little bit just to make sure you get a good, nice shine on it. We're not going for a high gloss shine, but at the same time, you want it to look nice. And you also want it to be nice and smooth. We don't want any waxy finish on there. And then just do the back. Again, about three coats. This is mainly just to keep the wood from cracking. And then at the end of this, just wipe it off and then do another coat. We're gonna go ahead and put the feet on. So just kind of putting the feet where they need to be roughly, marking out where the holes are gonna be. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some drilling. And put a little piece of tape on there to make sure I didn't drill down too far. And then just simply hand tighten in the screws. Now it's time to go and enjoy this beautiful little project.